Um, there's so much shit on the ground. I can't see shit. Hey, that's better. Nice. Hi, Cicerin here. I just wanted to make a really short video. This isn't going to be massively about Filter Blade. I do want to make a longer episode with Filter Blade and talking with NeverSync and stuff like that. But I wanted to make a short video showing you guys how to edit filters in Notepad++ and doing it manually. So if you don't know, starting super basic, if you don't know where filters are, this PC documents my game's Path of Exile. Now that we've opened here, I have my LOL Nemesis Beyond filter, which is uh, like slightly one of my, well, slightly custom made strictest filter. I normally make my own filters by using Filter Blade and then customizing what I want to see. Quite a lot of people use my filters and just for like a quick TLDR and like how strict and when you should run them, I normally use my early filter until maps, then my mid filter in like early maps, like sometimes to like tier five or six, then my end filter till like tier 13s or 14s, and then I use my strict filter uh, once I'm like past that. Uh, other than that, honestly, it just it varies, and a lot of the time I end up doing editing on my own, which is what I've done here. So, how do we get to this point? Normally, what I'll do, just to make it super quickly, I'll just scroll down here to get something randomly. I don't really care what this is because we're going to customize, we're going to gut it and uh, and customize it let's go grab something as an example that we can use so we make sure that it's working this is really good uh to do with say that you do want to find a vol axe but you want to like verify that it's working as well so we're going to grab an abyssal axe right it doesn't need to be an axe but you know that's the other base type that we're going to grab here i've grabbed a abyssal axe this is just for testing now i'm just going to grab something right uh, I usually like to make sure that I, I just so I don't have to remember everything here I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It says purple diamond and it has a play alert sound That's normally what I'll go and grab so I don't have to rewrite everything from scratch because I don't actually remember everything um, Now I can gut the majority of this. I don't want it to be identified. I don't need it to be a rarity I just want to find any base type so I don't need most of these things and then instead of class I actually want base type, right? That's easy for me to remember and then what base type do we want? Well, I wanted a Vol Axe. And uh, I remember that I was going to verify that it works with the Abyssal Axe, right? So what we grabbed was for incursion stuff. We'll delete that. Font size, text color, border color. I'm sure all of this is fine. And sure, it has a minimum effect as well. Great. So the rest of this was great. And now I needed to do less editing. I just want to make sure there's something that really stands out so I can find it quickly. Which is what I've done here with Fossilized Spirit Shield and Imbued Ones. Specifically at item level 65 and 64. You can also do um, item level greater than or equal to, and then let's say we want it to be greater than or equal to 68, and then I can click save. Now I've done this a lot, so I know for a fact that this is going to load with no difficulties. But, whew, but if I had a typo in here, this would happen. If it says loaded successfully, you've probably done it right. So now we're going to go verify. So I will just go to Blood Aqueduct, whatever. Just need to go somewhere and I am going to throw this on the ground. Now we see that it like pops up like this and that's very, very easy for me to notice. I could also like, this is just uh, the background color is red, green, blue. So if I do like 200 here, uh, zero, zero, then it's going to make it red. So I could just like play around with that or if I wanted Green, then I do that one. If I want it blue, I do this one. You can play around with that to your heart's desire. That's just the alpha channel, which I think is like opacity. But either way, this is like a good way where like you really need a Huber circlet or you really need an imbued one. Maybe you don't even care about item level. You're not 100% sure if it's on your filter and you just want to do it. Then this is a good quick way of doing that. So I just wanted to like show how to like custom edit your filter. And now we can make sure, like, for example, say we only want an item level, item level 83 here. I can just do that. And this is not going to be shown anymore because it is only item level 69. There are other stuff you could do. You could also play around with, like, orb of transmutation. Yeah, so here I can see that I have, like, I have hidden transmutes and everything like that on my filter. And then if I, like, really want to show them again and I don't want to switch filters, 
you can like you could play around with like sure i i want to actually show portal scrolls because i'm running out of portal scrolls um or i could move things up and down between uh, places like it is pretty easy to to get a handle on how to like custom edit these but the main thing i really wanted to show was that like you can very easily search for base types like that I am probably going to make like a more in-depth episode too, talking about filter blade and how to like set up your custom filters like I do. But uh, I just wanted to make a quick one with Notepad++ and stuff like that. So I hope that helps you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Hope you guys are enjoying Ritual League. Sub if you like the videos, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.